And in this video, we are going to look at how you can withdraw from your Bybit account. So if in case you want to know other ways as in depositing on your Bybit, check the comment section description of the video. I have a video that can really guide you on that one to deposit, I mean crypto, mobile money, cash, credit cards, and all those things into your Bybit. Okay, so now let's start with how you can withdraw from your Bybit account using whether Momo or any other means. Let's start with this. Let's go. So I always request that you download the Bybit app, which is very, very secure, which is very, very safe. Okay. So you could see with this, it is requesting of my phone fingerprint. And if in case you want to increase the security of your Bybit, yes, check in the comment section of the description of the video. I have a video that can really help you turn on some security features that will protect and keep your account safe. And you want to subscribe, subscribe because more of this become right here on this platform. Now let's get into it. How you can withdraw from your Bybit. Now look down right here. We have the home market derivative sport and asset. You will tap on the asset. Okay. When you tap on the asset, when you come to assets, you could see we have the total asset right here. And look down here, we have the funding and we have the unified trading and we have, we have the invest derivatives. Okay. Make sure your money is at funding. So if in case it is at unified trading, we tap on it tap on start and then you tap on next you tap on next again and you tap on complete so if in case it is at unified trading then you will go to transfer when you tap on transfer then you will select whether from your funding to unified or the other way around so if in case it is at unified trading and then you want it in your funding wallet so that you can withdraw you will then come to this side and then you select the coin whether you use it or any amount any currency then you enter the amount right here you tap on confirm to just move it from your unified trading account to your funding account before you can withdraw so always the money should be in your funding account before you can withdraw from there so right now the money that we have right here which is our total asset is from the funding and you could see 31.60 and here to 31.60 now for you to withdraw just make sure you like the video and subscribe for more go back home when you come home you could see we have the deposit sign tap on it and then tap on p2p trading tap on that one okay but in case you don't see the deposit sign right there we have this search bar right here tap on it and tap p p to p okay and then you will see this one right there and tap on it okay so you tap on it right there it will open like this and then you will go to sell right now we are going to sell our crypto so you could see the rate right here we have the 15.77 when you scroll down we have 76 and you could see that as we go down it reduces so you have to look for one that has good selling rate you get it otherwise you will sell and then you will be at loss so we had a 77 which is good when you go down you could see we have three you could see 15.3 and the other one was 15.7 so with the seven you get some top up out of the three okay now let's go and select the amount that we want to sell okay so we have the amount when you tap on it so you enter the amount that you want to sell so that it automatically give you agent or people who deal within that range okay so let's say um 36 okay so in ghana cities let's say 500 and then let's tap on confirm okay and then we have the payment method right here you tap on it then you can also select so we'll be choosing mtm mobile money right here we tap on confirm so to give you people who deals with 500 ghana cities selling okay as in selling and also the mobile money side you see people deal with vodafone and all these things so with this to select and give you and you could see we have the limits right here which is 50 to 3 thousand that's for the rema house so if in case you want to sell it should be within 50 and more okay and then we have another one here 50 and more and 50 and more and 100 and more so if in case yours is 70 ghana cities you cannot choose this 
so let's go for the one with good rate which is the rima house then you tap on the cell right here but always check that the agent is online you can see with this online let's go back online online and with this you could see five hours ago five hours ago so with this don't go in for one that is offline look for active ones and then you tap on sell so when you come to this side you will select whether by crypto which is by all or you go to with fiat you could see i'll pay um let's say all so which is 498.42 you could see so there is it this is the amount in ghana cities but with this it is in usdt or in crypto now you have to add your payment so if in case you haven't added you have to tap on add so when you come to this side you tap on the bank side and then you look for mtm momo or pay the bank that you want to use whether paypal um, whether any account just look true but you go for mtnm and also if in case you want to use mtm momo make sure this is momo and not the same as mtn mobile money so be aware of that one and tap on it select it and then you enter your name and then also the payment details is also right here so make sure that the name that you use or the number that you're using as your mobile money number is also matching with your account details otherwise it may not be the same because you could see that the name i am not able to change it you could see right here so always make sure your details are correct from the start of creating your account i told you that make sure your details are valid and you will not face any issue now we have the payment details right here you enter the payment details and this is where you're going to enter your mtm mobile money number after that you tap on confirm down here and then you go to your google authenticator you copy the code and you paste it here so after putting in the code you tap on confirm and then the card or your payment method is linked then you tap on sell okay but before that make sure you read this right here so be ready to complete the trade with me i don't cancel orders make sure your payment details on the payment page are correct other than that i state it in the chat box to avoid wrong statements wrong payment okay so always make sure you give your correct details okay so tap on sell right here and then you could see this is the amount that we'll be getting as um the 498.42 and then wait for some time the money will be credited to your account so let's go to the buyer contact okay contact buyer right here and then you wait for some time the money will be sent to you since you are withdrawing the money will be sent to you in your momo account or in your bank account then you are to just um tap on allow as in payments with um, payment received yes then you will allow your crypto to the person or you release your crypto to the agent you understand so this is how it works if you are subscribed subscribe because more this become right here on this platform and i think i saw something right here you could see in the form don't forget to run it up please can't pay persua so this person is also saying that um he cannot pay the 42 right here he cannot pay the 42 so <laughs> it means that this 42 persuas is going into the person's account and i think i did not check it all i did not read all the message that, that i saw it there so always just go through their message their remarks and make sure you understand everything before you start a trade you get it otherwise you will lose some amount and then you'll be like what happened but the person told you so I shouldn't expect the 42 in my account, but I should expect 498. According to the buyer in his message, that's what he's saying that he don't pay passwords. Okay, so he don't pay passwords. So I would have run it to 498 before I come to the side to make payment. So I think we've lost something, but I did it all for the good of you. So make sure you like the video so that the 42 passwords I will get it as a like. All right, now let's waste some time when the money gets into my account we will continue on from there so with the agent i told him that i was waiting and he was saying that the network is bad so he asked me to check if it was in so always be vigilant just check your account whether you have received the money or not okay and then he he later told me that uh, but hope you know network is too is is bad too or only me and he sent me even um a, a message okay 
of him trying to send and him encountering some challenges and i was like i can't tell here so keep trying and then he said please we'll pay just bear with me boss so after some time of him trying because um it wasn't going through it wasn't going through he showed me screenshots and everything and i think he did a good job with this he was able to send it no matter what is going through okay so the money is in my account and as i always say make sure you check in your account before you release your crypto do not say you have received a message okay but check in your balance account balance whether momo or account just bank account check make sure it is in your account so rima house did a good job you can also check him out when you come here okay so this is rima house on bybit he is an agent dealing with this okay so i checked and i we say we gave him a message that i'm releasing so let's go back right here when you come back a little look down here we have release now release right now and tap on release now when you tap on it then you could see you have to check that the money is in your account and as i said he did not add the 42 okay when we check his message right here he did not add the 42 it's just 498.00 so as i said always read about the person before you start to make a transaction with him or her so i confirm that the money is or has been paid okay then i will tap on release now because he told us that the password will not be sent then you will confirm with your google authenticator so as i said to protect your account very well just make sure you turn on the security otherwise someone can just make a transaction out of your account and then you tap on confirm down here and then the crypto will be released very very soon so now the crypto has been sent you see completed right here so the crypto has been sent to rima house so this is how you can withdraw from your account so you could see 0, 0.00 right here and this is bybit's withdrawal process if in case you want to know how you can get your account verified maybe you haven't verified your account you can check a video out in the comment section or the description of the video to know how you can do that and also with the security you can also check it out and also with the deposit you can also check it out right there and how you can send it from one account one crypto to another crypto wallet thanks for watching stay alive and bye for now